who's been on TikTok, you will know. Wait a minute. Sorry, that was really a stretch. But I need to tell you about Surfshark because this might be new year, new me. Actually, I'm going to be the same raggedy bitch that I have been the last forever. So anyway, not new year, new me because I'm still rocking with who with Surfshark. That's a virtual private network, boo, okay? If you're new here and this might be new to you, but the OGs know about Surfshark. I've been rocking with them for a long time and I'm going to stay rocking with them in to the new year now if you don't have a virtual private network what are you doing there's many benefits surfshark is in over 60 countries they are very affordable you can get one account and use unlimited devices on that one account um, it's good for watching programs in different countries, protecting your information when you're on public Wi-Fi, protecting your email, credit cards. Girl, the list is so long, okay? And the price is ridiculous. If you use the link down below and use my code, which is my last name, Owens, O-W-E-N-S. Do you know how much you get off? Let me tell you. 83%. Isn't that ridiculous? And three months free. Come on now. Hallelujah. In this time, in this economy, we need a deal. So if you need a virtual private network, which I'm sure you do, to access different content in different countries because, you know, these borders, these digital borders are whack. And also to protect your information, get you Surfshark, use my code O-W-E-N-S, 83% off and three months free. Like, what are you waiting for? Thank you, Surfshark, for sponsoring today's video. Hey, hi, hello, it's me or welcome or welcome back to my channel <laughs> my name is jess and i hope you can hear me fine i do not feel the greatest and my throat is sore and that is why we are speaking in our low npr jazzy voice if you will i don't know if you could really consider this asmr i'm not like whispering but it's not my normal volume i'll try to move this <laughs> hey you stupid lighting okay this is an emergency so that's why we're not prepared and we're we're flustered but imagine someone you thought did magically pops up a few years later jk i'm alive like honestly what would you do like, would you just be happy about it? Would you be confused? Would you be mad? All of the above? Well, have I got a story for you? Now, this is being talked about on the Twitter sphere, but it um, took place mainly on Facebook. Or wait, is it called Meta? Metaver? Meta? Metabook? I don't know. It took place on the Facebook. And author Susan Meachin who some people thought had passed away, revealed that she was not in fact dead, but very much alive. So let's go through this. I'm gonna share the post from this person who revealed this information. And then the messages, there's messages between her and Susan, and then some of the Facebook posts that Susan, not Susan, but is Susan, was posting on Facebook and in these Facebook groups. What? <laughs> it is only the fourth day of 2023. Andrew's already been sick. I'm sick. Christmas, I was sick. What's going on? This is not a good omen for my year. <laughs> I hope this means we're getting all the shenanigans out of the way in the first part of the year. Yeah, right. But at least with me, like physically, can I be well? Anyway, let's take a gander, shall we? So Samantha Cole tells us, I'm not sure where to start. Last night I got a message from Rhonda Butterball asking if I remember Susan Meachin. Of course I did. And within the hour I was horrified, stunned, livid. And it felt like I'd been kicked in the gut and the chest at the same time. I'm still sick to my stomach and it's gotten worse. In September of 2020, Susan Meachin's daughter, supposedly it was her daughter, signed into her mother's profile and announced that Susan had taken her own life. Devastation from her friends, fellow authors, and readers followed. Allegedly, she'd been bullied in the book world to the point of suicide. What followed was rants from said daughter about how horrid the book world had been to Susan, and the family wanted nothing to do with the book world from that point on. 
However, they wanted to honor their mother's memory by publishing the last book she wrote, which they did. Friends, authors, and readers share the release. We grieved for the loss of the woman we considered a friend. I personally was harassed by another author who loves to create drama, claiming I was one of the authors who bullied Susan and drove her to suicide. I was heartbroken when I realized it had been a few months since I chatted with Susan in PMs. I wished I'd reached out sooner and maybe it would have made a difference for her to know there were people who supported her. Last night, a post was made in Susan's old reader group, The Ward, from Susan's profile, and I quote, I debated on how to do this a million times and still not sure if it's right or not. There's going to be tons of questions and a lot of people leaving the group, I'd guess. But my family did what they thought was best for me and I can't fault them for it. I almost died again in my own hand and they had to go through all that hell again. Returning to the ward doesn't mean much, but I'm in a good place now and I'm hoping to write again. Let the fun begin. Apparently, she's not dead. T.N. Steele was a profile she made a month after her alleged suicide. What follows are screenshots from the group, her profile, and the chat I just had with a dead person. Excuse me while I know while I now go get shit faced and memory of co-workers and friends who I know really did commit suicide. I feel like if I knew or thought someone had committed suicide and then I got a message from them, I would wonder if I was on drugs or high or being punked. That doesn't exist anymore. But I, 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 I. I would have oh my god I don't even know what I would do so there's screenshots um okay it starts with what is going on many question marks nothing I simply want my life back what do you mean nothing ma'am you seemingly rose from the dead what do you mean nothing okay nothing I simply want my life back my family was in a bad place and did what they thought was best for me did your family really do that or did you do that season Hmm. By telling everyone you committed suicide, how is that the right thing to do in any situation? Your friends, author friends, readers greet for you. I was harassed by Dylan Cross telling people I was one of the bullies who drove you to kill yourself. I'm stunned and appalled that anyone would do this. I personally knew people who took their own lives. People I worked next to for years without ever knowing they were fighting demons. I had cried when I heard you allegedly taking your life. I felt so bad we hadn't spoken in a few months in the chats. I felt like I was kicked in the gut last night and wanted to throw up when I heard about your post. Who the hell pretends that a loved one committed suicide? Was it really your daughter making those posts, most of which seemed to have disappeared, calling out the bullies that drove you to suicide? Do you even have a daughter? I've spoken to several people who knew you two years ago, people who considered you a friend, and they are just as dumbfounded. How can you think the book world will just be like, oh, you're alive, welcome back? That really does seem like what she thinks. She's like, oh, MBD, I'm here, hey, let's write. Susan said, I do have a daughter and a son. I'm not worried about the book world letting me back in. I was never really in. All you had to do was say you were leaving the book world and everyone would have respected that. But to have someone post that you killed yourself is disgusting. The betrayal I feel is beyond words. Then why come back at all? Why not just stay under the alias you are using? I seriously hope you get the help you need. Never in the past seven and a half years in the book world have I seen or heard of anything that's outrageous. And there's been a lot. You obviously didn't give, give a single thought about the people who considered you a friend before you pulled this stunt. Susan said, I had no control over what my family did. I was in the hospital fighting for my life, but I understand what they did. So you waited two years before letting anyone know that your family thought the right thing to do was to say you were dead? WTF? Who does that? Was it so people would feel sorry for them and buy your books? Susan said, my books haven't sold at all. I stayed silent while I worked with my psychiatrist and therapist to get in a better place. <clears throat> I lost professional partners to suicide. That is not something that should be said as a hoax or a joke or whatever. All your family had to say was that you weren't in a good place and that you were leaving the book world. But to say you're dead? That you took your own life? That I took harassment from that asshole telling me I drove you to suicide? I was nothing but nice to you when we chatted in messenger and in groups. There are, wait, 
There are dozens of people who probably will say the same, but screw that. I'm glad you're getting the help you need. I'm glad you're not six feet under because I don't wish that on anyone, especially someone I considered a friend, even though we'd never met in person. But this is the last conversation we will ever have. Goodbye. Which is very valid. So the profile that is under TN Steel, which apparently she was using and saying it was her daughter, it says this account will be closing soon and I will return to my real account and name. If you would like to follow, let me know. And then there's screenshots. I can link the Facebook posts. Um, there's more screenshots that I have here. But there is one that has the post that I already read under her profile. And um, then these are some older posts that I'm guessing her daughter posting as her. Her posting as her daughter under her. I'm not sure. Posted in 2021. Unless something changes in the next 21 days, all of my mom, all of mom's books will be unpublished. Her paperbacks will be going on sale, then unpublished. The only way you'll be able to get the books will be through audio. Her sales and page reads have been zero for a few months now, and it's a waste of my time to work them every morning after work with zero movement hell we hired a pa to help and has not helped any so far so if you want any of her work then now is the time to pick them up also this account will be dark except for audio promoting <sighs> and then some more screenshots and this is about the one publishing the last book before susan meachin passed away she had written her last book love to a last a lifetime she wanted to have it published by her daughter's wedding this is it it is on pre-order now for 199 release date is october 30th now them calling and they're not answering like what are you doing i said hello 15 times okay anyway there are various posts that were posted by her as her daughter or her daughter as her i don't know um there was a post from october 23rd 2020 that says sorry thought everyone on this page knew my mom passed away dead people don't post on social media i've been on this account for a week now finishing her last book my wedding gift from her if you'd like to talk to some of the people who have been helping me, let me know. Excuse me. We've asked for very little from everyone, but I'm asking that you leave Connie Ortiz alone. She has been a saint through all this. She deserves some peace. Again, please be respectful. Now, here's a link to her last book and goodbye. So. It's a romance author. I don't know if she is I would not be surprised if she is. I'm just trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to wrap my head around what was going through her dome when she was like, aha, this is the answer. Because she is putting it on her family, but I don't, I don't, now, pause. I don't ever want to question or doubt anyone's mental health struggles. Um, from being in the book community myself, I know that it ain't always pretty here. There's a lot of um, negativity. Uh, sometimes there's a lot of, you know, dog piling sometimes and subtweeting and talking about people and drama like hello welcome to book community <laughs> but um i i i just if she was in the hospital for her own health i'm glad that she got help and didn't take her life i'm just struggling to think that your family would say let's tell your readers and your community that you killed like i don't think they would do that like i feel like if anything they like if you were unable to update the page or whatever they would be like she's not well right now or she's taking a break i mean unless you told them to post i'm just very confused and and what and why'd you wait so long Why'd you, why'd you wait so long? And you're like, hope to get back to writing. Ow. I have so many.
many questions, Susan. I have so many. Now, I don't, I've never heard of this author. Um, I don't know what goes on on the Facebooks with author pages. I know that a lot of authors have like pages. They have groups over there where people talk and stuff. I don't be going over there. I think the last time I was over there was when um, Nora Roberts was having to read Deborah for Filth. But um, I don't know what be going on over there. I see what I see on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. And I know that people can be bullies or just, you know, be harassers. I know. Also, it threw me off the entire time. I kept reading Book World. I just wanted to say book community. So not doubting that any of that is real and not doubting that her mental health was affected by it. Like, that's valid. I know a lot of us have had various levels of stress, anxiety, depression, whatever it may be, um, that's been exacerbated by being online and in the book community. I just am still scratching my noggin trying to figure out how we go from I am being bullied harassed I am not comfortable here I don't feel safe here all valid feelings to I'm gonna tell people that I killed myself what no like I feel like you started here and you got all the way over yonder so quick like there was nothing in the middle there was nothing like i'm gonna take a break have your spouse or your daughter tell them you're gonna take a break or you could have ghosted them i mean they might have wondered what happened to you but at least they wouldn't have in their head that you died susan susan i, I don't know if there's gonna be any more fallout or commentary from it I was just like this cannot be real and yet it seems it is have you ever heard of this author does she write like really dramatic romances like this or something oh my god I hope that I, I want to say I hope that she worked through a lot of issues during her time away but um, I don't know her right but she seemed, in the, in the small interactions I saw, very nonchalant about this. So I hope that she gets whatever help she needs. That being back in the community is a positive experience for her, you know, to get back into writing. I hope... <laughs> so, did none of these people know her in real life? Like, I guess none of them knew her in real life. I'm like, were you just like walking around the grocery store and someone's like, are you dead? But I guess not. I don't see a photo. I just see like a logo. And when I looked on Goodreads, there wasn't a photo. So I guess that helps too. Like no one would ever mistake you anywhere. So you were just out here living life. And a certain demographic of people thought you were dead. It's giving me Scientology adjacent. I don't know why, but that's what came to mind. Mmm. I don't, I don't, I, I, I'm flabbergasted, honestly. I'm, I don't even know. I was going to say shook it. I don't know if the kids still use that today. I'm behind. But again, have you read this author or heard of this author? Do you participate in author groups or reading groups on Facebook? Like, I would love to know what it's like over there. It seems like the wild, wild west. I thought Twitter was bad, but I wonder if the Facebooks is worse. I feel like it could be because I feel like there's an older group of readers there and middle-aged women, especially middle-aged women are messy. But I don't, I don't, I don't want to know how it is enough to like go join a group. You can just tell me how it is. Yikes. Is this the most bonkers thing you've heard? Re the book community. I've heard some things. This is up there. This is up there. And this, oh my God, this is only the fourth of the year. I'm still trying to compile my top 10 from 2022. And I'm trying to wrap my brain around this. This is too much. Ooh, I need to go make me some tea. Anyway, tell me your thoughts. 
do you really think her family did this for her or do you think she did it susan we need an interview does anyone know susan give her my email i want to interview her i rest in peace barbara walters and oprah is still here but you know can i be like them combined i'll be like were you silent or were you silent you know like Never mind, that was gonna go too far. I'm gonna end this here. But thank you for watching. <laughs> I need some tea, maybe a cough drop. Um, yeah, I hope you all stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreen, and wear your mask. Also, it's day 40 of the strike, and this union has not heard anything from HarperCollins. Now, to remind you, this does not mean to not read books or purchase books by authors published under HarperCollins or any other mini imprints, but go to their Twitter, go to their link tree, there's ways to sign, to donate, to email, like this is ridiculous. We need to fucking get loud and make noise and get their attention because this is unacceptable. They're not asking for much. HarperCollins, get your shit together. New Year, same bullshit I see. <clears throat> Wear your mask, please. Wash your hands. Wash your bodies. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.